Bro, he about to be lit off of this. <laughs> So much has happened, you guys. As you can see, my TV is now on top of the fireplace. All the Christmas decorations are gone. I feel like it's been a while since I actually like recorded, recorded. Um, yo. <laughs> okay. So I had braces when I was in high school, right? And... <laughs> I never wore my retainers. I never wore my retainers. If you have braces, please wear your retainers. I promise you. Because I thought, you know, I'm a little shift here or there. It's okay. It's a little crooked at the bottom. It's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with I love my crookedness. Crookedness. But my uh my kids was like, nah, bro, you gotta fix that. Because it's not the cosmetic aspect, it's the health aspect. So what, I graduated, <sighs> 20 years? Nah, anyway, I can't do math, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm trying to, trying to do it in my head. Let's say 15, let's say 15 years. Let's say 15 years, 16, 17, it doesn't matter. The fact is, I had to go and get Invisalign due to not taking or wearing my retainers. And now I'm just like, all right, fine. When I say this is day one and I'm already trying to articulate my words better so that way I can uh, not sound like I have a lisp, but then they put this tracking thing on my tooth. I was like, do you know what I do for a living? I stay in the camera. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? So, yeah, I am um trying to get trying to get my life together, child. Emotionally and mentally. So yeah, we're gonna see how this thing gonna work out. Okay, so I just came from the grocery store because Ain't no way to the last man to get stuff. I tried different types of um, meal delivery purpose, uh, meal delivery services, and uh, 
it worked. I tried HelloFresh, I tried Facto. I actually preferred Facto better because I ain't had to cook it, nothing at all. Especially with my, the, um, with uh, time management, stuff like that, it was perfect. So now, I decided because the girl got plans for this year, so. And one of those plans is buying a house. So I'm trying to save money, do things for myself as much as I possibly can. And that way I can get the heck up out of this apartment when time comes. So we'll see how that's gonna work out. When I tell you, although I'm not in the ghetto, I feel like I'm in the ghetto. Just with how crazy um, the, uh, what's it called? Management here. Ridiculous. But it's okay. Because, you know, I feel like this apartment served its purpose. This was the first apartment that, this was the only apartment that was available when I was ready to move down here. Um, Cause you know, it's kind of last minute. But you know, because how everything worked out, which was like a smooth transition, easy process. Um, I love where I am. It's not that far from the city, but um, it's quiet as much as possible. But it, uh, I feel like it just serves the purpose. And so now I'm ready to have my own. And I ain't paying so much money in rent. Let me tell you something. When I lived in DC, I went to school in George Mason. I went to school at George Mason and I stayed in the DMV area for about five years afterwards. Absolutely loved it. Um it was just like black excellence, especially when I lived in Bowie, it was like black excellence. Um, the the church that I went to, it was like the, the community, just absolutely amazing. So I was trying to find that down here, well, trying to find it somewhere. And then, so, you know, I did my little uh, mini road trip around the country to see exactly where I wanted to go, i.e. one place, Dallas. It was either Texas or here in Atlanta. Honestly, Atlanta was like a last resort for me. I feel like everybody was going through Atlanta. But um, after trying out Dallas and seeing what I could afford and um, <laughs> and what I what what I could afford, I ain't gonna live there. And uh, what I could afford, I ain't wanna live. And I ain't wanna live where I couldn't afford, where I wanted to live where I couldn't afford. And so I was like, well, maybe Dallas ain't it. I was gonna do Charlotte, but with some of the goals that I have in mind, um, that wasn't the move. Love Charlotte. Charlotte's only three hours away, so if I ever wanted to go, I could. But I felt like with Atlanta, as far as long-term goals, um, this is where I should be. And I do not regret my decision moving here. Um, so yeah, it's now, it's just, okay, I'm here, what's next? And so um, the whole idea and the main, one of the main reasons why I moved here is so I could actually plant my business um, locally. And why not do that in a place that is, quote unquote, the black mecca. Now, on top of that, I told you before that I, you know, I lived in DC, I lived in that area, in a DMV area, and I wanted it to have that same DC feel, DMV feel, because I didn't, technically I didn't live in DC. Um, I wanted to have that same feel, but at more affordable rates. I won't pay, I won't pay in those prices, I'm sorry. I refuse. And so, uh, especially when it came to rent, child, so I told myself when I moved here, I will stay in my apartment for about two years. And then from there, I will, um, you know, venture out, see where I wanna be and stuff like that. And so this past 
year and a half that's what i've done i experienced a lot i went to different parts of the metro atlanta area um and really scoped out where i would um move it to next because at first when i first moved down here i ain't know nothing jail I ain't know. I just know I wanted to be near a specific church. That I don't even go to anymore. That I never actually stepped foot in. But um, I just wanted to be close to there because I wanted to actually, like I said before, build up that um, that community again, especially with Christian like-minded individuals. And so I wanted to live by, or at least in a um, a. Um, proximity to one of the churches that I was interested in and so when I realized that <laughs> the city was uh expensive um and everything that I was interested in did not have any availability one of my friends was just like yeah why don't you try my apartment complex I was like you seem too far from this now, granted, I'm looking at maps. I didn't know nothing about um, the different types of areas out here until I, I want to say I came and spent like a weekend or so a couple of times before I actually made a decision to move down here. And so from there, I'm just like, okay, I can get with this. Now that I'm actually here, this has been the best decision because like I said before, I'm literally like about 20, 25 minutes away from the city. So I don't got to deal with the foolishness that comes with the city as far as traffic or everything like that but also um when i do want to go into a city you know it's just a skip jump turn corner boom i'm there so yeah so um now i feel like it's time to at least start the process of trying to find a new place to lay my head and I don't got to pay rent because like I said, rent is going up and I refuse to pay higher than what I am at this present moment. So, yeah. So I'm done rambling. Um, I am about, like I said, I'm about to go to get, what time is it? I normally try to eat around 11, should be 11 by now. Um, go ahead and cook me some food and go to work, get to work. Um so I can get my day started because it's going to be a long day. Yeah, so I'm about to, um, I've been having, don't judge me. I've been having cravings over some of the most basic. And yes, I do eat pork. I don't eat beef, I don't eat turkey, but I eat pork, mind your business. Um, and I wanted a bagel with some cream cheese and some bacon. Like a cream cheese and bacon sandwich made with a bagel. I don't know why I tried to shake it. I tried to shake it. You know somehow sometimes like you'll um, you'll have a craving if you don't think about it or you know it's just like one of those things where you probably thought you saw it somewhere and you're just like oh I want it now and after a while like it just goes away. The thought the craving goes away. No. I've been having this craving for about three weeks now and I'm about to indulge. So I got my bacon, put my cream cheese in the refrigerator. I got my bagels and I'm about to crush and be filled. So yeah, I'm about to cook that and then I'm about to go to work and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Several months later. Eight hundred and eight five one zero five one. We're asking, did you I ever do anything to your ex that you regret? Call us up right uh, now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Traffic. Trying to get to Jamar. When I tell you, this traffic is ridiculous. It will normally take me twenty minutes to get to his house. It's going to take me thirty. Mind you, I've already been driving for about ten minutes, and it still says thirty minutes. <laughs> Oh man, this Atlanta traffic child. But um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been vlogging. I want to say the last vlog I dropped was what in December. Man, life has been life being. Life has been life being. Where do I start? Um, 
Well, I decided to jumpstart my weight loss journey. Um, so far, I have lost 10 pounds. Um, yeah, I lost 10 pounds. So I got another 20 more to go. Um, I started, I have, I have PCOS, so it makes it difficult for me to lose weight due to stress, due to having insulin resistance. Um, and please, I got these uh, aligners in my mouth, so please forgive me if you hear a little lisp. Because when I say it's annoying, it is annoying. Oh my gosh. But, um, but yeah, and so with insulin resistance, with um, the type of work that I do, the stress and all that stuff, it's very hard for me to lose weight. So I have been um i uh, started this new like hormonal um balance type journey that will you know get me right um I mean, of course like, you eat right you work out all this stuff even if i do like hard workouts it will still be um it could cause um stress which will actually prevent me from losing weight than actually help me lose weight so it's, it's certain things that i have to do in order to cut the fat um but i will um i'm in the process of doing that now oh look it jumped from 30 minutes to 24 minutes <laughs> yay but um yeah oh my gosh what else has happened i've been traveling a lot um went to Vegas um uh, none of that recorded I been traveling up and down from DC and from Virginia seeing family my baby nephew is now one when I say life has been life in um child's been a journey child and I have not had my camera with me <laughs> through none of it so please forgive me but yeah, it's now I am, um, as you can see now. So basically through the whole winter, I have not vlogged anything. But now as you can see now, um, here I am. And so, we to get back in the flow of things. Um, as I stated before, uh, today is Jamar Day, where we will be getting some footage for his upcoming singles. And then, of course, the uh, surprise party tonight, which I'm super excited. I cannot wait to see his face. His friend, Norman, um, which I can't wait to meet, actually, hit us up and let us know that, you know, he wants to do something for Jamar. He sent us the address and everything. Jamar just think they're going to dinner, like get some drinks and it's gone today. Little do he know, so I know. That first reaction is going to be absolutely hilarious. Like, he's about to cuss all of us. So I can't wait for it. And I will be recording that as well. But yeah. So as of right now, I am stuck in this traffic. Um, and once we, once I get to my destination, I will talk to you. Look at this. You hear that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you singing? I don't know. It was just mumbling. So one hour later, I finally made it to Jamar's. Huh? She gave me caffeine. You don't give me caffeine or coffee. I don't drink either one. It's gonna. <laughs> Look, I'm making I'm like a mess. <laughs> it's, on, it's gonna end great. It's gonna end great. Oh, but it's gonna be a time to be had. <laughs> oh my god, I'll make sure I'm gonna record all of this. <laughs> Recording all of this. But no, I just got here. It took me an hour to take a, what, a 20 minute drive, which was highly frustrating. But we just had, we just shared this triple shot. That's the, this is the coffee that he had. He's sipping on. 
He tells me, he tells me, <laughs> after I gave him the drink that he don't drink coffee, bro, he about to be lit off of this. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. I'm trying to think. Should I, get a, I probably should have put on the first outfit. I ain't gonna put on the tennis though. We should have tied tennis. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. I would definitely put the first outfit on. This is the first. I'm gonna walk around for Christ. I ain't mad at that. No, because Susie and someone else hates it when I put on the damn Crocs. Like, I mean, I don't wear Crocs, I don't own Crocs. But I will say, when I'm at my parents' house, my, my sister, she loves, she's like a croc fanatic, and I wear them every time I'm over there. <laughs> my ass, first off, my mom bought me some. I said, I am not wearing those. And she was like, You get a crack? I'm like, I ain't wearing those crocs, and then I started standing there with those crocs, and then there we go. Exactly. I literally wear her crocs every time I'm at home, so. That's it. So I'm, I'm not mad at it at all. Okay, so where's the first place we're going again? Cabbage Town. I don't know Hopefully there's no traffic. If there is, um, we will have to, um, we'll have to pin it. Cause I'm not dealing with that shit. We on the time crunch. We on the I-10, back 10. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cause you got somewhere to be tonight. Well, I mean, we got some time. We do. It's only 317. I, I still don't know what I'm wearing tonight, so. What? At least. What are you wearing tonight? That is six, eight, seven, eight. What are you wearing tonight? Um, I am going to wear jeans. I want to wear this shirt, but I want to know how, how cool it's going to get tonight. I think it was like 60. Okay, good. Like 57 ish. Do y'all know where you're where y'all going? Um yeah, we're going to Muchachos. What's what's that? Mexican? Yes. That's not gonna be good. Wait, I'm sorry. Please don't cuss me out. <laughs> I feel like I put a curse. <laughs> Only reason why I say like okay, hold on, let me show you. Real phone that. So, remember the picture that you took of me yesterday? With my head was so long due to the lens? Yeah. So, I showed my mother the picture, and my, my mother and my sister, and they sent me this. <gasps> saying my head was this long, <laughs> mind you. Now, of course, Jamar is now dressed in one of the outfits he's gonna wear tonight to the recording. And I thought about the uh, Proud Family. Oh. I'm not wearing it. <laughs> I'm not wearing it. No. I'm not wearing it. No. I'm pivoting. No, I'm just saying I just thought about it because it was literally in my head. I was just talking about my outfit. Do I look like the Proud Family? Do you think this is too big? No, you're fine. You're fine. It was just the, the fact that this head is was in my head, and I was thinking about the because of the, the, the yeah. It was like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> That's the only reason. But you you look good. You look good. Don't buy me. It's again. It's I think the um, this coffee starting to kick in. Who the f is this? Can you fix your face? I don't know. Hello? I think we about to head out. Alright. What does it say? What, what's going on in this box? Your shit. <laughs> you are ish? Or you are your. You can put your shit. Your shit. Your shit. <laughs> shit. Your shit. You can be like shh. What's my name number? And I need a black like, marker. Yeah, I have one. Like not you are, but Yo. your. Like pack your. Yeah. Pack your sheet. 
Lord Jesus. So you don't got a lip marker? No, I mean, not, I got a pen, but still, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out which damn container I'm putting in. So you got a blue marker? I got a black pen. I need my no, I have like a, a, the permanent marker. Oh, okay. I, I thought I did, but I had marker and shit. Unless I, unless I know how I am when I move. The sad part is when I move, I just be throwing shit out. I feel you. I don't be having time. Like, that's all I be telling my dad. I think you such a damn pack rack. Exactly. No, I don't have a pack rack. So how you got a Bible? Because Chuck E. Cheese. This, why is this old nigga in your drawer? Now you're going to feel real dumb when you look at the picture. Who are these people? Those are my babies. That's Ooh. Kyla and Jayla. When they were kids. Okay. What do I got to do with the fact that you got a Bible? What you got to You'll get your drawer? This is where your tinsels go. Utensils were everywhere else, and I didn't know where to place it, and I didn't, I couldn't clean this one out yet. So I was like, "It's gonna go into, you gonna bless this hole when you first come in here." That's what, you, that's what it's for. I am weak. Why am I doing this stuff now? Yo, I need to be doing something. This is why when I drink those triple shots, I'm driving, and so literally I'm just like focusing on the road because when I say I am like everywhere right now. <laughs> I need a marker. I don't know what this is. I wish I would have known what the problem was I would ask you to ask one of your neighbors, but you know. They don't like me. Um, clearly, I could ask. The front desk? Yeah. If not, I would just take a. I'm about to say, take, take, just take a pen. Yeah. It's not going to be as prominent, though. But yeah, no, we need a marker. Let me see if that has one of the best. Do we have any gum? I, I don't chew gum. Mouthwash it is. Sorry. I uh, do not chew gum because I would chew the inside of my cheek or I sound like a camel or it makes me hungry or I grind my teeth trying to chew the gum. So I just don't chew gum. Because the only thing, when I figure it takes us a while to get to the other spot to save time, what I would do, what I will end up doing is seeing if there's like a basketball court near and it'll work just the same. Okay. Whatever. Look, I'm here for you. I am here for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Box, shoes, camera, clothes. Nigga, where did you put your clothes? Get it together. Where are my keys? Get it together. Oh, there they are. I'm gonna heal your body. Hmm. I don't know the rest of the song. Watch, because I need some jewelry on. Get it together. I gotta heal your whole. So I don't look like a hobo. What shoes you wear with that? The, the butters. Mm -hmm. You got the rest of your shoes? Mm -hmm. They're in the back. Okay, cool. The roll out. All right. dun, dun, dun. Don't, don't. Where's the, um... That's right there. I would just drop to it on the way out. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. You have to drop past it. Don't ever say that. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than Jesus Christ on the motorbike. Where you get this from? Why are you like this? I don't know, and I don't like it. Okay, so we're at the park. It says we're here, but it's like... Okay, let's do Atlanta Memorial Park. Let's do that. We don't know where we at. Oh, is that it? Oh, it's that it's back here. Didn't think that I would leave the shit. It's crackers. Pack up my shit and take it back. Yeah, yeah. Cause you thought that I was sick, baby. Too bad it never came alive. Lord Jesus. These Atlanta people came. They're driving is something on another level, child. I'm not from Atlanta. I'm from Red Hill. I'm from Red Hill. 
But you had to make me go there <laughs> and, it was, and it was a ramp So I was in the right Yeah, see, it says right here But it's literally like It's something over there It's something over there Maybe it's around the corner It said the test get no reply well, yeah, because it's showing well, show like we can have a path from here over there. Yeah. Let me see. 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 Let Whatever makes you feel better on your day is okay with me. I appreciate you. Okay, I'm gonna turn around again. No, as long as you don't cuss me out, I'm gonna cuss you back out. Okay. Not even what because it's close to my birthday. I should be able to curse. You can curse like you want to. You ain't cursing that bitch. <laughs> if you I wish I could see this driving in the middle of the street. First of all, it's not driving in the middle of the street. Second of all, I'd have been in two driveways, okay? I just reversed. It was no driveway. What driveway? I don't see driveway. It was that one back there. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. And I want an apology. Well, if, if you're right. I'm, I am right. I have no problem. I'm always right. I have. Hold on, I'm about to show you that she just wanted that box. What's that? What that is? What that is right there? What is that? What is it? Look right here. You see that? You see that? You see that, right? That's not a parking Tell me that I'm wrong, because I'm not. It's a ramp. It's a, uh, it's a path. It was a path. It's a path. But it was not somebody's parking driveway. You said driveway. It doesn't matter. It is a little drive. It's a way that I can drive into, isn't it? All right, thank you. I like how they make their own rules. I get in Atlanta. First off, she's including me in this we. I'm not we. I am from Richmond, Virginia. Born and raised, Cat City, Bang Bang. That's what I do. I wish I could see my eyes. He been here since what? Ten years. Only because ten years. You're you're now you're in the land with the Linian. Yeah, that. Oh, there it is. So yes, I here. You were just on the wrong side. Was I? On the back end. Lisa, she had to just realize I knew what I was doing, when I was doing it, how I was doing it. Get your ass out the way, ma'am. I was fine. He, although he blamed it on me that he couldn't find me. No, I did not blame it on you. I blamed it on you for not paying attention. Touche, because I don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I never pay attention. I'll say that if I'm not driving, I do not be paying attention. Let me see here. Yeah. Because we can do it like somewhere in this area. I don't want people kids in, in the middle of my Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to right here. Come in just a little closer. Well, I was trying to get your whole body. Oh, my whole body? I was just going to do from here up. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, baby, I ain't got nobody. <laughs> I ain't got no job. Let me take your camera. No. <laughs> it don't work. <laughs> it's a practice. <laughs> I was should be recorded. Hold on. Hold on, let me. <laughs> anyway, so performing part wasn't bad at all. It was just, I see the vision that you're trying to get with it. So it's just making sure that, you know, everything is everything in alignment. Is executed that way. Like, exactly. Like if we did not have everything downtown going on, it would have been perfect. Yeah, it's crazy that there was so much. And again, it's Atlanta, there's always something going on. Exactly. It's like, it's all good. I mean, just gave us a nice little practice. Right. You got something. Like, you're sure? Oh my God, it's a bug. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a bug. I'm sorry. It's God. <laughs> it's God. What you about to change it now? Oh no, I'm just gonna put my um your crocs. Your crocs, crocs. back on. 
I really like them. Those are nice. Yeah, like, I got nice those, like, two pictures ago. And I was like, I was sort of mad. Um, because... <laughs> hold on! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So, we, we can't film here. I mean, we can try it. I just don't know. I mean, what song? Okay, now that we're here, what, what is your vision? What song? I'm just walking. I and say we could do that. This will get them drips because it's... Is it drip? We ain't gonna go that far. Hold up. Okay. Let's talk. Let's you know, give a little reverse. Oh shit! There's the cops right there. Is that the cops? No, that's Henry Police. They don't count. <laughs> I'm looking out. Oh, okay. Should we slide up a little bit? I mean, I mean, I'm on this side, but I feel like we're in a we're in a good place in order okay. to record. Cause all of this, we, it can be a quick walk. We can just sit there and act, act like I'm doing something. Right. Um, like I'm looking at the car, I'm like, oh, this. Like, that. like you, you. We could say that you thought you ran over something. You just want to check all your tires or something. Yeah. Just don't have the music playing in your pocket while you're doing it. He said, just don't have the music playing in my pocket. I will play the music on here. Like it is not gonna, it's not gonna require much. All of this is me walking. I'm gonna slow it down, like do a slow mo. Okay. And then like, then that's why I'll put in the words, and I'll I'll put in the words on the screen, and I'll have like the thing slow down. Okay. So we so you did you want to do a vertical? Did you ever look at the other ones yet? No, I didn't look at them. These be ducking. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot with you. <laughs> All right, let's get home. What we should do is wait till. They come and then like Alright, hold on, let's practice one more time. Make sure I come it up. I'm gonna walk off that line. Really? Yeah. Go. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I don't want people to think about that. That's so fucked up. That is so fucked up. No, no, no. I was just doing some practice oh. words. I just so I can see it. Alright, let me, let me try to film it now. Put it on 60. Oh, that was good. That one was good. Let's do another one, though. <laughs> yeah, the ending? Yeah, it was. I love that one. All right, let's do it again. Oh, let me see what it looks like. But yeah. That way, if we need to move it, we can. Yeah, just so we can make sure we got a good. All right. It's 
Oh my gosh, let me tell y'all what happened. So as you can see, we are, I am now driving again, change clothes, everything. Um, as Jamar and I was, um, you know, filming, I looked at my watch and I was just like, oh my God, it's about to be six o'clock, bro, we gotta go. And so he was just like, oh, well, you know, I'll be, you know, make it, but he didn't realize that I need to be there. <laughs> I need to get this reaction. And so, um, I was able to get to his house, um, you know, get to my car so I can drive. And so I, I, while Jamar was like in the car, well, I, while he was driving me to his apartment so I can get my car, um, you know, we were able to renew it a time a little bit so everybody could, you know, get there on time. Um, but with that being said, as I got to the car, why did I realize that I forgot my, one of my camera uh, batteries? Cause it went dead, of course, during filming. Man, I had to go back to one of the spots that we were recording at and go get my camera uh, battery. Like these jokers are not cheap. And then, so of course, I got back home around seven, uh, a little bit before seven, changed clothes, you know, freshened up a little bit, and then um, got back, you know, in the car. And so I just put the uh, uh, directions. I'm trying to see. I don't know where I'm going, with child. You said. Two. Is 285 East. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but um, hold on, y'all. Because I, what I can't do is be lighter. I think that's right. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Anywho, child, just lost train of thought. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going the wrong way. Definitely going the wrong way. This is why. We needless to say, I um, I uh, was going to be. I, I put in the GPS and um, was able to. I'm gonna get there within 7:30. Well, it was 7:30. I realized I wasn't going the right way. That, uh, it is what it is. I will still be there about 7:37 ish because I know I got my U turn. Because none of the uh, what I needed the. Um, interstate and what gps to say was not right so that's frustrating but yeah so i'm on my way there i'm hoping i can get there before they do so that way i can record it so yeah i will see y'all later
parts that would be so fast. The world's a window for you. Could you see us through the window? Oh, okay. <laughs> Right. So what do you think is going on here? I don't know. No one has a friend here, I guess. Yeah, I think he said he was going to tell him that they were going to go pick up the friend at least. Mm -hmm. And then go to drinks. Okay. Gotcha. If I'm wrong, you didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> here you go, here you go. Yes. And I just want to say, Jamar, everyone here is for you. 
Like every, you have touched each and every one, from my friends to your friends. Like we are here to support you. I'm glad, as my brother, that you traveled from Virginia and came to Georgia and be with me. I really appreciate that. And I just want to say I love you. Love you. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Clink, 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 clink. All of that. <laughs>